Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected from the market and how did the market behave, right? So firstly, I mentioned in yesterday's thumbnail, right? This is a pattern which not many of the traders know. It's called the three similar lows pattern. I had given some examples as well. If you have not watched, you can watch this video here, right? So in that clearly I mentioned that 21 905 was the first low and then 21.917 and then 21.931 right so today it, it went till 21.917 if you see the low here so clearly uh, it did not break 21.905 right so this acted as the fourth similar low right if you see on daily chart you can clearly see the four lower weeks here right so that acted as a proper support for us and market bounced Two things that helped actually one as i mentioned charts are bullish and i i had also mentioned that the data is bearish so despite the data being bearish and market coming down in the initial part of the market right so it opened here then it came down and then it further went down and made a low but i strongly held my positions because of the reason that i knew that the market structure is bullish right so it did not hit any of the stop loss and it was a perfect trade i would say i added a few positions uh, in the candle that made this low as well if you observe this candle i had actually seen on one minute chart it was it did not make a single minute also below 21 it just had to i think trigger some stop losses probably that was the motto behind this low lower week today it just came down in a fraction of a uh, i think less than a minute or few seconds it just bounced back so it was just a stop loss hunting so even if it had at least closed 5 or 15 minutes candle i would have considered and thought about it but it was just a quick reaction but nothing happened and then market went up right now some important things in this video uh, please watch very carefully and tomorrow it's going to be a real challenging day for traders so i'll explain you one by one important things right now before i go ahead with uh, what i want to the view for tomorrow i am happy to announce the sixth batch of the webinar so i have already completed five batches and this is going to be the sixth batch it will happen on 31st march and last day to enroll is this friday right which is 22nd march right and it is suitable for options traders if you need more details you can find my whatsapp number in the channel description uh, do reach out to me one important thing I had earlier mentioned that it is only available for 99 participants and after that I will very likely stop the webinars completely. I, I don't intend to dilute my strategies. Uh, the number has updated. Now I'm going to do it only for 94 more people. So if you are interested, I think uh, you shouldn't wait too long to enroll. Right? Uh, you can get the WhatsApp number in the channel description. I'll show a few trend lines uh, and the analysis for tomorrow don't get confused just focus on whatever the color or the trend lines that i'm talking about first thing is just focus on this parallel channel right ignore all the red red color green color and black color lines just focus on the parallel channel so here we saw a breakdown then it quickly went up so ideally it should have worked as a fake breakdown but what happened is next day again it came down now to enter into this parallel channel nifty is actually taking a resistance at the higher levels so this parallel channel is still valid so until nifty closes within this parallel channel once again with a proper bullish candle uh, we can we cannot say that nifty has turned bullish so the level for tomorrow is 22 roughly around 22 125 130 is the 130 we can consider it should make a proper bullish candle and close above 22 130 for us to change our positional view to bullish for now it's not very bullish right this is a very good structure where four lows are formed so ideally it should close but we cannot say until it is closed uh, closed about 20 to 130 now similar is the case with bank nifty if you see uh, this is properly in the same parallel range and today it was supposed to take a low at around 46 i think 45 950 was the level but it took a low at 46 22 very close to this lower end of the channel and made a quick bounce I think it bounced more than 300 points in less than 5 minutes. I think it was 12 p.m. to 12 5 p.m. Uh, it was an excellent support from the lower levels. And I had also 
uh, mentioned that bank nifty is especially looking more bullish than nifty for the reason that it has been continuously falling and it had to uh, reverse a bit at least somewhere now the analysis for tomorrow um, very important positionally we are still neutral on the market uh, it was bullishness only for today and probably for tomorrow as well but you should be very cautious i'll tell you from the data what is the caution point here so i'll delete this parallel channel for now and this trend line which i have drawn if you are on 15 minutes chart if you see i have connected several lows right for several highs so if you see here this is a high i connected this is this was a fake breakout so it came down this is another high several highs i have connected so even in the whatsapp group i mentioned that this level is very important and it gave a quick breakout and after that it sustained above the breakout of this trend line now the key important support will be 21905 to 21915 the 10 points and on upside 21 sorry 22135 to 22205 are the two important levels uh, i think more than that i think 22125 to 22175 this 50 points range you need to be very careful there are several resistances both from moving averages and the candles so 22, 125 to 22, 175. This 50 points range, I would seriously say do not do anything. Don't try to uh, play with the market for this 50 points. Just sit aside if you can calmly sit, right? Otherwise, uh, take a calculated risk to short over there because it's a resistance level. But be very careful within this 50 points range. Now, coming on to the end. Let it close about 22 to 205. Then we can say that this W pattern is also valid, and also the parallel channel re-entry would also complete. So let's wait for 22 to 205 to uh, to be closed on the higher side for us to consider it to be bullish. And for Bank Nifty, uh, I'll show you the levels. So 46 525 is the support. 46 750 is the first resistance, and 47 thousand we will consider a round figure as the resistance and likely i think 46 900 to 47 150 is the one that 150 points range is a resistance for tomorrow and for nifty uh, as i mentioned 20 to 125 to 20 to 175 is the resistance area now let's have a look at uh, the data index futures retailers have added around 11000 longs so it is bearish FI, FIS have added 4000 index future shots, so bearish. And index calls, so this segment is bearishness. Index calls, um, if you see retailers have moved from 64,000 longs to 22,000 call longs. So it is a you know, reduction of call longs by retailers, so it is bullish. FIS have reduced their call longs, so it is bearish and pros have reduced their call shots so it is bullish so two out of three are indicating bullishness index put side uh, retailers have reduced 1.24 lakh of put shots so retailers are getting bearish that means we'll consider it as bullish fias have reduced their put longs so bullish pros have also reduced their put longs so it is indicating bullishness so here index put side is also indicating bullishness so index futures is bearish index calls and index puts are indicating the bullishness but one important thing as i again mentioned today these both the numbers are still net positive and only retailers are short that means it's not a free flow upside market there will be resistances that's what this is indicating from the data and this index future may not be tomorrow this bearishness might not be seen but this figure of 90000 cannot be ignored in the coming days i will explain you when and how it will fall and what is the how is it going to work right i please mark these levels and i hope this uh, way of drawing the trend lines connecting several highs and this uh, similar low patterns that helped you and in, in case you are uh, finding the content useful please do like share and comment and if you wish to enroll to the webinar uh, you can reach out to me as well thank you all have a good day